Oh my God. We, we, wife, son, were assassinated. Nigeria shakes as Simon Ekpa makes shocking allegation over we, we's death. Nigerians, Simon Ekpa is self-proclaimed prime minister of the Biafra Republic government in Hazai. Has dealt controversy with his recent statement alleged, alleged, alleged foul play in the tragic death of Access Bank CEO Dr. Abrat Wigwe, his wife and son. The two lost their life in a helicopter crash in the United States. A past assumption made via social media platforms has sparked widespread debate and speculation. In his statement, Ekpa boldly declared they assassinated the CEO of Access Bank and wiped his family in a helicopter crash in the U.S. A Biafran and have appointed their own. He further accused unidentified entities of orchestrating a conspiracy to eliminate Mwigwe, a prominent figure within the Biafran community, and replace him with their preferred candidate. The self-proclaimed Prime Minister went on to ascertain that there is a, a, a con concerted effort to, to wrest control of Biafran business and positions extending from Lagos to the United States. He urged caution, emphasizing the need for a thorough investigation into the circumstances surrounding the helicopter crash. Ekbar's allegations have elicited mixed reactions with some individuals expressing support for his claims while others have dismissed them as baseless conspiracy theories. Many have called for transparency and accountability in the investigation process to ascertain the truth behind the tragic incident. Access Bank, one of Nigeria's leading financial institutions, has refrained from commenting on Ekbar's allegations choosing instead to focus on mourning the loss of their E for their CEO and his family. However, the bank has assured stakeholders of its commitment to cooperating fully with relevant authorities in the ongoing investigation. Meanwhile, authorities in the United States have initiated a comprehensive inquiry into the helicopter crash, aiming to determine the cause and any contributing factors. They have urged the public to refrain from speculating until all findings are thoroughly examined and verified. Reacting to Iqbal's statement, Frank wrote, The truth cannot be attacked because it is obvious that they assassinated the man and his family for a reason best known to them. American, stroke Nigeria, is a syndicate to this crime. Another person wrote, Biafran that does not want to be addressed as a Biafran, the name Wigwe is really twisted. It's supposed to be Mwa Igwe. Wigwe have no meaning to Igbo language. They are all die-hard one Nigerians and it's happening to them in a hard way. Any reps, okay, any, I can't really get that. These are reactions from Nigerians. Another person responding to Simon Ekbar's statement, you made a good point here. The earlier, the earlier they realize Nigeria is not for them and we never love them as their own blood will, the better for them rest in peace to the departed souls. Another person, another user wrote, I said the same thing that it, it is Mwaiigwe, not Mwaiigwe. He, he, he tried hiding his identity because he was ashamed of it, most likely from rivers or data, yet died by the hands of the same Nigeria he was trying to impress with his wife and first son. On the contrary, uh, another person wrote, you can't just open your mouth wah, and call a, a mechanical fraud assassinated without having a proof to back up your claim. Agitating for a break away of Biafra from Nigeria should not come about propaganda and false claims. It can be achieved without blood 
on your hands. So guys, what's your take on this? Meanwhile, this will shock you. In a, another shocking revelation that has sent shock waves throughout Nigeria's financial landscape, a video has emerged featuring prominent uh, People's Democratic Party PDP chieftain Body Judge leveling serious accusations against the late Access Bank CEO Herbert Mwigwe, along with other notable figures in the country's banking sector. The allegations, which surfaced just hours prior to new news of Mwigwe's uh, tragic death, have stirred significant controversy and uh, raised serious questions about the integrity of the nation's financial institutions. Mwigwe, a touring figure in Nigeria's banking industry, met an untimely death alongside his wife and son in a helicopter crash while on air route to attend the Super Bowl in Las Vegas. Despite the outpouring of tribute, tribute and, and so on from various quarters, highlighting his significant contributions to the Nigerian banking, banking uh, landscape. The recent video has cast a, should, a, a, a shadow over his legacy and ignited a, a fierce debate about the inner workings of the country's financial sector. Hmm. In the footsteps shared on TVC YouTube channel, Body Judge, alleges that Mwigwe alongside fellow bank CEO such as Tony Elumelu of UBA and the former CBN governor Godwin Emefele were deeply embedded in corrupt practices, reaping substantial profits at the expense of the nation's financial integrity. According to George, these individuals purportedly received monthly allocations in dollars, which were intended to bluster the stability and growth of the banking system, but we are instead allegedly siphoned off for personal enrichment. But the judge claimed that rather than facilitating economic stability and growth, the funds were diverted for personal gain with the dollars allegedly being sold off to various unauthorized uh, channels, including the block, the black market, thereby by passing the intended beneficiaries and undermining the integrity of the banking system. The veteran statesman's assumptions have ignited a, a firestorm of debate, shedding light on the opic, uh, works, workings of Nigerians' financial sector and raising serious, uh, raising serious questions about the integrity of its key players. Well... And there is no need to judge the dead. The truth remains that whatever you do here, you must reap. That is the truth. Uh, he is before God now and his judgment. So, no need to judge the dead. May so rest in peace. So guys, what's your thoughts on what Simon Ekba have said? Hmm. About... Uh, the CEO being assassinated with his wife and his children and his son. Please pardon me. Thank you for only stopping by.